In this lesson, we're going to have a quick look at how we determine whether a score is an outlier or not. Well, we need to know what an outlier is. It's a score that is either well above or well below all the other scores in the data set. So a score may appear to be an outlier. It might be much lower or much higher than the rest in the data set, but it may not actually be an outlier. So how do we actually determine whether a score is an outlier or not. Well, there's a formula we can use. So if it's a low score, if we think it's well below all the others, then the score has to be less than the lower quartile minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. If that is the case, then the score is an outlier. If the score is not less than that result, then it's not an outline. So we need to make sure we have our calculator and that we need to know how to find the lower quartile and the interquartile range. If it's a high score, so we think it's well above all the other scores in the data set, then the score has to be bigger than the upper quartile plus 1.5 times interquartile range. And again, if it is, then it is an outlier, and if it's not bigger than it, then it's not an outlier. So remember, that means it has to be bigger than it, not the same as, not smaller than, it's got to be bigger than it. So let's have a look at an example. We'll go back to Rachel, but I've changed the data set a little bit. There are still marks out of 20, but we're going to have a look at um, her lower score in this situation is 2, then the rest of the data is, appears the same. So 2 looks like it's an outlier because it seems to be a lot lower than the rest of the data set. But let's make sure that we can check that it is. So there's our data set. To, we need to find the interquartile range. So that means we need the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So we've already gone through that, but I'll go through it quickly again. We go and find the middle score. And in this case, because there's two middle scores, the median is 16.5. From there, we have a lower set of scores and an upper set of scores. So we need to find the median of those, which means it's the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So we go and do that, and our lower quartile is 14. And for the upper set, the upper quartile is 18. So there we have it. So now we need to find the interquartile range for the data set. We know our lower quartile was 14. Our upper quartile was 18. So our interquartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. And when we do that, we get our interquartile range is 4. So we need that in that formula that we're about to use. So. We still haven't found whether 2 is an outlier or not, so we need to use this formula where the score has to be less than the lower quartile minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which we found in the data just a moment ago. Our score is 2, our lower quartile was 14, and our interquartile range was 4. We work out this on our calculator, and we get 8. Now our score of 2, is it less than 8? Well, it is, and because it is less than 8, then 2 is an outlier. So let's have a look at a second example. We want to determine the, from the following data set, we've got some scores that are already placed in order for us. Remember, we need to make sure that they're placed in ascending order. And we want to work out whether this score of 28 is an outlier. It looks like it's well above all the other scores in the data set, but we need to make sure that we use the formula to work out whether it is. So to do that, we need to know the lower quartile and the upper quartile and our interquartile range. So we can do that. I'm not going to go through it now. I've shown you before how to find those. So our lower quartile is 13 and our upper quartile is 19. So, to find our interquartile range, it's our upper quartile minus our lower quartile, which in this case turns out to be 6. 
So we still haven't found out though whether 28 is an outlier from that data set. So because it's a high score, we use the, need to use the other formula, which the score has to be bigger than the upper quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. And you can see we've already substituted those numbers in. 28 was our score, and our upper quartile was 19, and we've got to do 1.5 times our interquartile range, which was 6. And when we do that, we find out that this side ends up being 28. But for it to be an outlier, the score has to be bigger than that result. And it's not, it's the same as it. So if 28 is not bigger than it, then it's not an outlier. So we've just found that the score of 28 is not an outlier from that data set. So what we've just found then is two examples of how we determine whether a low score or a high score is actually an outlier from a data set. Even though they may appear to be, there's those two rules that we need to use to check that data.